So here on the, uh, the banks of the River Ouse here in York, uh, we've got the Star in the City. Uh, very much the sort of brasserie sort of style compared to my normal uh, offering of food with a mission star star in at Harem. And what I wanted to do was bring a bit of the, uh, the countryside to town. So our ethos behind all of the food is very much that sort of uh, that Yorkshire local produce, uh, letting the seasons sort of write our menus and uh, just to bring a taste of that to the, the tourists and the locals alike really here in the city centre. So it's a brasserie sort of style uh, and very much one that would uh, sort of appeal to everybody, appeal to the masses. We do a lot of volume here, a lot of customers, uh, and it's open all day from breakfast all the way through till, till late night drinking or whatever. Uh, so you can come for breakfast, you can come for your brunch, you can come for lunch, you can come for afternoon tea, come for dinner. Uh, something on the menu for everybody, hopefully. When we started off now five and a half years ago, uh, we sort of threw everything at it that we thought we should have had in the kitchen. And then unfortunately we had a fire just before Christmas time uh, and, and then all the equipment went so in the kitchen. Uh, so then it gave us an opportunity to sort of refocus on, on the kitchen itself and the, the style of menu and uh, actually down to the staff, you know, actually as the, the Thermaline suite has come in and all the other equipment, it makes it a lot easier for the, uh, the sort of uh, the movement in the kitchen. Um, for the design of the kitchen, we had a blank canvas really, because you know, within the fire, that the, everything was pulled out, water damage and, and smoke damage, whatever else. Um, so we, we we could really start from scratch, you know. And uh, as I keep going back to, it is very much that you can work. I mean, we can do three, four, five hundred covers on a Saturday evening, uh, up to a thousand on a busy uh, bank holiday um, day. So. Um, you don't want to be moving up and down, trotting up and down the kitchen here, there and everywhere. You really want to be standing in the same place within arm's reach of the whole suite. And that's exactly what we've got. It seems a lot more relaxed, which is quite unnerving for me as an old school sort of chef. I think that uh, it's a lot nicer working environment. Uh, everything is in there. You haven't got the sort of the smoking ovens. You haven't got everything just sort of it, everything in there is, is brand new. And, uh, and again, I think, you know, even down to the extraction, to the Electrolux fridge, you know, you've got there, you've got the refrigeration, which is something that you don't necessarily always think about, you know, when you're buying an oven suite, that you've got the refrigeration there. Uh, so as I said, the, the ergonomics of the kitchen, it, it's a lot nicer and a lot sort of happier sort of place. So having the free cooking top for the Thermaline is, is fantastic. You know, you've got the, the, the four areas of heat, the quadrant sort of uh, quarters, if you like. So you can be searing something and there in front of you. You can let it rest just at a sort of ambient temperature coming down. You can have some pans in a bain-marie if you like, some purees just ticking over. So it enables you to do a full menu really around yourself. You know, if you've got a, uh, a pan of uh, mussels that you want to come on quickly and, and, and he's heating up uh, fairly swiftly, bang, there you go. And it's, everything's very immediate, you know, it can be as quick as you want it to be or as slow as you want it to be. And that's the beauty of the whole, the whole kit, I think, you know, and the Thermaline, I think, is probably a, a leading brand in that at the moment, uh, which is fantastic. Well, I've known of Electrolux for quite a long time, really, uh, through Obsession, uh, Northcote. We, we, uh, I've cooked over there a few times, and uh, we've used, we've always used little bits and bobs all the time throughout the different places, you know, but never really sort of set our stall out to have a bit of a flagship um, uh, kitchen as we do here. And, and I think it's something that, if 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 you've spent all that money on it, you know, I think that you need to then be proud of it. You know, we've just been very. In, um, inspected by the environmental health uh, officer. And he said, there's not a kitchen like this in York. You know, so it is fantastic to have that sort of, that pride in your job and that pride in what you do, really. Uh, so it was a no-brainer to use Electrolux, to be honest.